Here it is. The Historical Society wanted this, and I never would give it to them. Oh, Mom. I notice these things are back in fashion. Grandmother's dress. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> He's a lovely man, Annie. I know. He is wonderful, isn't he? <laughs> and he's such a wonderful athlete. Are his folks nice? You'll love them. We're going down to D.C. tonight to be with them Christmas morning. How did it happen? Well, silly, really. <laughs> I mean, I'd seen him at the office. Yeah. Obviously, I'd seen a museum associate and publisher. And then one day, we both ordered sandwiches from the same place, and he got my lettuce and tomato on whole wheat, which, of course, he was allergic to. And I got his lettuce and tomato on white. How amazing. It is, isn't it? You make a million decisions that mean nothing, and then one day you order takeout and it changes your life. Destiny takes a hand. Mom, destiny is something we've invented because we can't stand the fact that everything that happens is accidental. Then how do you explain that you both ordered exactly the same sandwich except for the bread? How many people in this world like lettuce and tomato without something else like tuna? Well, it wasn't a sign. It was a coincidence. I was in Atlantic City with my family. Cliff was a waiter. He wasn't even supposed to work that night, and suppose he hadn't. <laughs> he asked me to take a midnight walk on the steel pier. I've probably told you this a million times, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> then he held my hand. At one point, I looked down, and I couldn't tell which fingers were his and which were mine. And I knew. What? You know, what? Magic. It was magic.